you watching gk web tv and i am your host sakib malik today we are at the center of central asian studies at the kashmir university where an event was held in which a presentation was given by uh, one of the scholars from the uh, intac uh, jammu and kashmir chapter um, who spoke about history uh, historical graveyards and their importance now i'm joined by two prominent guests with me i have with me mr salim beg who is the convener of the indian national trust for art and culture heritage intact jammu and kashmir chapter beg sir today uh, this event was held and a detailed presentation was given how do you look at these historical graveyards and their significance well let me come to this presentation or this body of work which was presented today graveyards are known so are gravestones here there's nothing new about identification of graveyards but there some first in this work which in this project which has been completed which is in an advanced stage of completion the first thing is that this project combines three major disciplines when we look at the graveyard the first discipline of course is the grave then the architecture in architecture they do motifs they do forms they do spaces they do calligraphy so that is for the first time when it these more graves have been looked at the second thing is the literature the scholar combines this versatility of architecture history and knowledge of persia so he has deciphered the inscriptions on the stones and related it to the periodicity of history the third thing which is quite significant in this project is that we have heard that the nawab islam came here it took a lot of time in converting a uh, faith and kind of integrating it with local language and cultures and for a long time it was only the outsiders who knew the foreign language of that time which is persian arabic and those who were knowing local languages which is kashmiri sharda script sanskrit whatever so the presenter the project has established that in the first very 30 years of its arrival in kashmir the cultural aspect of languages scripts and poetry was picked up through the gravestones in kashmir so these are three significant take homes from this present from this project so we have not only established historicity of the graves we have also i mean the project has also looked at the cultural aspects project has also looked at the periodicity and the cultural interface which was created between the preachers who came from my side and the population as such it has also shown the inclusiveness of the faith when it came in kashmir by integrating the scripts the languages the forms like he was showing you in terms of architecture that some of the graves represent buddhist stupas or some of the gravestones have hindu influences on them so this interplayability and this interchange as also the integration of form faith styles motifs is something which has been established to my knowledge for the first time i hope that this project is carried for that this is an initiation of a huge historic work which will perhaps succeed the project which has been presented here thank you Uh, now I am joined by the director of Center of Central Asian Studies, Kashmir University, Mr. Uh, Tarek Ahmed uh, Rathar. Sir, ये जो आज the event that was held, uh, what is the significance, sir? क्या लगता है आपको कि how will uh, the students benefit from this? Hey, uh, all our scholars, you know, we have almost all 120 scholars here, and uh, there are um, almost all 20 scholars who are doing, who are working on history. historical significance all that yeah, all of us are aware that you know the the cultural roots the influences of the culture which is central asia central asian culture as such has prevailed over upon the uh, culture of this you know what we call as cultural diffusion which has taken place at that point of time 1300 or 1400 is important century so this uh, mixture of cultures we have this center was itself you know it was 
they, it was established only to see these kind of influences which have come from Central Asia from 1978, it was established in 1978 to look into it, the primary job of the centre was to look into it and see how the culture, how the pe people, the thoughts, whether it is religion, whether it is culture, how that has influenced our society. And probably I will be not be, it will not be ex any exaggeration to say that the gentleman which was Mehran, the presentation which he gave us regarding the uh, regarding the, these significant gra significance of these graveyards, it is of his first of this kind. It will not be exaggeration to say that this kind of presentation, we have been here, we have been, we, there have been scholars who have come down to our center who have talked about the um, artifacts and something and, uh, and every other aspect of center. But probably this was the first of this kind and my students, all the scholars, not only history, the, the people who are doing, who are, who are, you know, who are Persian scholars, they are 12, or, um, 12 scholars, Persian scholars, and the people in, in, in fact, in Kashmiri language, they have been highly benefited by this exercise and I will be I am deeply you know touched by the Salim Sahib's gesture that he quickly agreed to be part of it make center a part of it and give our students a chance to listen to this presentation thank you uh, this was uh, director center for center center of center Asian studies Kashmir University now to throw some more light on this topic and today's event we're joined by former chairman of the Jammu and Kashmir Public Service Commission Mr. Mohammad Shafi Pandit uh, sir you are there at the event what are the key takeaways from your point of view about the event and the presentation and this topic of historical graveyards? No, uh, it was a very good presentation, I must say, and it's on a very important topic. The need for preserving our uh, uh, historical graveyards and uh, because it has a lot of uh, bearing on our culture and history. As you know, Kashmir has had uh, one of the oldest recorded history. But uh, then there have been different waves uh, of his uh, culture and uh, language and architecture which have interacted from type to type with the local uh, systems prevailing. And uh, what he talked about was an era where when, uh, you know, there was a real uh, meeting of two uh, uh, eras. And, you know, it was a transition from uh, Sanskrit uh, which was record, uh, recorded those days in Sharda script and then into the Persian language which became the official language after uh, the, uh, you know, this uh, uh, the, uh, Sultan Zainal Abidin made it into, uh, made Persian as the official language. It, uh, it, it received impetus. But then a translation bureau was also set up at that point of time and a lot of literature was translated from one language to the other. And here he talked about, you know, the uh, bilingual epitaphs on various graves that he has noticed in the Mazare uh, Salatin or uh, Maza Mazare, uh, you know, the uh, Mazare Kalan. So uh, this actually Mazare Kalan mostly because uh, there it was that point of time then when the two uh, systems were interacting with each other. So from that point of view, it's a very important thing, but it has not been fully studied so far as what factors have been, uh, you know, responsible for, uh, you, you know, the uh, decay of our language systems and all. And it's important now to, uh, in the present context, it's important also to uh, emphasize on preserving our language, culture, architecture. And from that point of view, I think it's a very good study that's uh, been made. And it will uh, th you know, put the whole problem in proper perspective. Thank you. So we had a host of experts today talking about how it's very important to study, to research on art and culture history and at the same time provide a boost to students, scholars who are pursuing such studies. With cameraman Khan Mudassir, Saqib Malik, GKWeb TV.